All right, everybody, we are back for the third video in our Marshall Putnam 4-H Tetrahedron Kite series. At this point, if you followed all the instructions, you should have four identical tetrahedrons, all with your tissue paper skin on them, and all of them with some strings hanging out at least the top point. Uh, on this one, I've got three strings coming out from where it was tied together. I'm just going to pick the longest one keep it and trim the other two off. You can trim them down fairly close. Don't cut them so short that the knots come untied. So we'll end up with something like that with one long string left. I've already done that for the other three sections here. Uh, the instructions packet that you have is going to be a little bit vague on this. It's a little bit hard to see. So hopefully this video will help out more here. Uh, I have the camera set into my side this time, so you're kind of getting a point of view that I have working with the pieces facing me. The important part of this section is going to be the orientation of the tetrahedrons. On your tetrahedron, you have two sides that are glued, and you have one edge that's folded over a straw. We're going to keep those folded over edges facing ourselves. So I'm going to arrange them like this to where they're all facing me with that folded over edge. See, they're all facing the same direction. What you're going to want is an arrangement that's something like this. And let me disconnect the camera here quick and give you a bird's eye view. So looking down from the top, it's going to be a triangle of the three tetrahedrons. Once we get these all connected, we'll put our fourth one on top like this, and that'll give you your full kite. Easiest way to connect these three bottom ones is to get some of this extra string you have in your kits. You only need a piece that's maybe five, six inches long. Take it through one of these open corners like that. Through the other open corner down here. Bring it together and tie a double knot with it. And these you can snug up just like everything else so they're tight. You just don't want them so tight that they're flexing anything. Also you want to make sure that the knot is down on the other strings and not riding up on one of those straws. So we'll tie this one. Double knot it. And I'm going to tie these two back corners to the front corners on my rear tetrahedron. Same thing, use a short piece of string, bringing it through that opening there. Bring it around the opening behind here. You can see in there. And tie them together double knot, square knot. As long as it's a good secure knot, this butcher string holds up pretty well. And the final one for my base, I'll come around here, back corner, let's rotate that. Back corner, I will run the string through that hole there and around this section here. Let's go ahead and rotate that so you can see where I'm working. Just like that. All right now all I have left to do is mount my final tetrahedron up here on top. Um, this is why we left these long strings coming out the top. So it'll be a simple matter of looping it through from below. 
and tying those knots. You can use these strings. If you're having problems with using these strings, you can't get the knots tight enough, easy as cutting those off. I'm doing these the exact same way we just did the bottom corners. So I can take another piece of string, bring it up through here, this is a good spot to ask a parent to help out with holding everything because it takes a little bit of balance to get everything lined up right. Again, I'm going to make sure that knot goes down onto the strings, doesn't hang up up here on the straws. Now prop it up. I'll tie that corner off next, the front one. Again, you can use the string that's here. You can bring it through. Tie off with that. It's easier for you. Just cut another piece of string. Bring it up from below. Through your top corner. Said it helps a lot if you got a second set of hands to hold everything for you while you tie these knots. I'm doing this solo, so bear with me, please. There we go. Tie that off. Holding the knot down, make sure it gets down on the strings, on the other knots, not on the drinking straws. You don't want to knot on the straw because it'll slip off and everything will come loose. Okay, I got my two front corners tied. I just come here to my back corner. Use this piece of string. If you want, nip it off. Use it. Tie up the final corner here. Just like that, your tetrahedron is built. So again, if you have all the leading edges, the folded over edges facing you, you'll have a knot here, back here, on this corner, and then a knot at the top three corners on the top of your tetrahedron first layer, the bottom three corners on your top te tetrahedron. At this point, you'll want to go around, trim up all your strings. I like to leave them about a quarter inch to a half inch long. Just to be safe, I don't want to cut into the knots. I won't cut all these while I'm on video. But just clean it up so it looks nice. Alright, next up we're going to need a piece of string that's about 12 inches long. We're going to make what's called the bridle for your kite. This is where your kite string will attach. If I've got the tetrahedron kite setting on the table in front of me with the folded over edges facing me, I'm going to go to my left side. I'm going to take my 12 inch piece of string, tie it around this corner. Again, that's the left corner. I'll bring the other piece into that string around and tie it in this middle junction here. Now I want to leave that loop so it sets about three or four inches out from the face of the kites, from those leading edges. That's my bridle, that's where I'll attach my kite string. And then the final step before attaching your kite string, you'll want to grab your 
streamer, your tail for your kite. This is the red flagging tape in your kit. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Take it through this bottom right corner. Tie it off in a knot. Single overhand knot will work. This stuff will crimp down and hold on to just about anything. That's the basic kite. You've got your bridle over here on this side, your left side. You've got your tail coming out the right side. Once you have your kite string, there's a good picture of the knot you'll use in the instructions, but you'll tie your kite string here. You can adjust this kite string left and right along the bridle to adjust the angle of attack of the kite. Sometimes, depending on wind conditions, you have to adjust it a little bit to get it to fly steady. And just so everybody can get a view, there's the whole tetrahedron kite. Four cell tetrahedron. Alright, thank you guys.